안녕하세요 여러분 스트리밍 준비 됐습니까? 저차 있어요 오 아, 반갑습니다 여러분 Please the new members Hi Rachel Cute boys welcome back Phoebe Rashid First time here Let's welcome Phoebe Is that how you say Phoebe? Joyce, welcome back. Natalie, Helen, mm. Hibernating Chibi, Maitri, welcome back. Jess, Nikki, Atika, welcome back. Okay, thanks for joining the live. Today is Sunday, and we're doing another live streaming about the webtoons. <laughs> As we all really enjoying this content, right? Hi, Carita. Thanks for joining. All right. So, do you guys remember what happened yesterday? The episode one, we did the first half of it, and we're doing the rest of it today for episode one. So, she is really popular lady, right? So last part, it was, uh, she has the Insta, you know, she's the Insta star. So her friend is all jealous. What is it like to be an Insta star, right? And then now we're talking about the next part, okay? So please let me know if I'm reading too fast and if you want me to pause at one specific point, just let me know. And as you know, this is all interactive learning. Please have your pen, paper, and dictionary ready. So when I ask you questions, please answer them as much as you can. It's okay to be wrong or even right, you know. Obviously, it's, it feels good when you're right. But it's okay to be wrong too because that's how you learn and remember things better. Okay? So let's start with this. Idol and X. As you know, X is like sensory. We don't know which one. Member Han XX. Okay, look at this. <laughs> Love you. Why? 혹시 남친 있으세요? Oh, the phone. She's looking at the phone. She's got the sweat. It seems like this man is asking her. 혹시 남친 있으세요? 사실 어제 메시지 한 들어가 보니 한 XX 한테 메시지 와 있었어. <웃음> Look at the friend. I guess the guy is really popular too. 어떨떨하다. You know, she's got the sweat in between, like right on her forehead. And look at her friend. 진짜 대박. 아 인기 있는 삶이란. 내게는 좀 익숙한 인기랄까? 띠링! It's like phone is ringing. 어, 뭐지? 오늘 과대가 또 모이제. So she's telling her. Look at the sign here. It's like what? Like hitting her head almost. 이거 이거 징그런 놈. 어째 매주 건수 만들어서 모이는 것 같다? 적당히 끼고 빠지자. Okay. So we are going here. So the, those of you who are joining the live for the first time, we go through a script word for word. So this is a subject color orange, object pink, verb blue. And this is the extra color that I just created. <laughs> this is any miscellaneous. That's why you have a scribby line. <laughs> so let's start with. Alright. 혹시 남친 있으세요? Okay. So it's the guy who's asking. 혹시 남친 있으세요? What's 혹시? And 남친. What is 남친? And 있다 verb. 으세요, this is a polite ending. 
asked, asking a question. In statement, often we see it as please do something when you're making request. This is just polite ending. Yeah, this is a shortened form of 남자 친구. Oh, Jess. Nice. High five. Hi, Carl. <laughs> Thanks for joining. 혹시 perhaps do you have boyfriend? Okay. 있다 is exist or to have. Right? Do you? You is omitted in this case. Do you have boyfriend? Even though in English I use boyfriend as object, as you know, itta verb cannot have an object in Korean. So, 남자친구 exist. That's the grammatical structure. Okay? So in English, I may say perhaps do you have boyfriend? But in Korean, this is a subject. 사실 어제 메시지 한 들어가 보니 한 xx 한테 메시지 와 있었어. So the friend is telling her friend, right? So look at her. 사실, what is 사실? And then 들어가 보니, okay? And 어제, this is yesterday, 오늘, today, tomorrow, 내일, right? 사실 is truth or fact, that's right. But it could be used as an adverb. Okay, in this case, it's more like adverb. Instead of a noun, 사실 is in this case, honestly, or frankly, or truthfully, right? Frankly, in fact, you could also say in fact, 어제, yesterday, 메시지 함. This is the word, 메시지 is the same thing as English, message, right? 함, what 함? 함 has a meaning of box, okay? So message box. Do you know, um, 보석 함? Sometimes we say 보석 함? 보 석, 함, jewelry box, okay? 함 has meaning of box. In this case, message box. 들어가 보니. In this case, it doesn't mean there is a physical message box. This is like virtual. 들어가 보니. 들어가다 plus 보다. What's the mean? 들어가다, that's one verb. Boda is used with another verb. That's why this doesn't have meaning of to see anymore. It means what? Try. Okay? Try to enter. So I took a look at it. Okay? I took a look as in I entered. But this is a virtual. So enter means I just took a look at the message box yesterday. Ni ending. This is conjunction. It could be used as nika as well. Ka can be omitted, okay? Ka can be omitted. Nika. Now that. Now that I took a look at message box yesterday, frankly, who from Han XX. It's just a syllable, right? Normally, Korean names are three syllables. That's why you're gonna see Han XX. This is the given name, right? Han is the last name. From message wise, so. Oda. Oda plus itta. When itta is used with another verb, this is the state being of the first verb. So the message came. Message had come from this guy. Are you guys following? 질문 있어요? We all good? And 어떨떨하다. What is that? 어떨떨하다. You could use just ta at the end by adding ng. This is just cute. Cute. <laughs> Being cute. 어떨떨하다. You know? So between friends, we use ng a lot. 어떨떨하다. What's that? Look up the verb. 
어떨떨하다. Okay. To be puzzled. Because as you know, she is very shocked. 어떨떨하다. Oh, I'm shocked. Or I'm puzzled. I don't know what to do. That's right. 진짜? Really? 대박. Wow. Amazing. Insane. Right? And, ah, 인기 이랜 삶이란. What's that mean? 인기 인. 인기인, okay. what's that? And A is possessive, right? This is possessive. 인기 has meaning of popularity. Okay, this is popularity. That's right. 인 has meaning of, it could be B verb adjective, right? But not in this case. This is actually a noun, which is person. Okay, 한국인, Korean person. Okay, 인기인, popular person. Because this is not be verb adjective, just because this is possessive. Okay, popular person's 삶이란, what's 삶? In this case, E is be verb. 삶. What is 삶? Do you know? 살다 verb. 살다 verb. Okay? This is one way to make a verb into a noun by adding M. Okay? So, they're the same thing. But 사람, I feel like it is derived from the Korean words. In is associated to Chinese character. So, 한국 사람 is the same thing as 한국인. And 인기, we often use with 인기인 rather than 사람. Okay? So, by adding M, it becomes 삶, life. Okay? This is live, 살다. By adding M to the verb root, it becomes 삶, life, be verb. Lan at the end. So this is like the um, you know usually I have a noun after to describe. It's shortened. 인형이란 여자. Woman that's called 인형. Right? We don't know what it is. Noun that's called popular purpose person's life, right? Noun that's called popular person's life. You can interpret it as what a popular person's life. You can interpret it that way. What a life of celebrity, you know? What a life of popular person. So she's like patting herself. Oh, so good. 내게는, to me, this is nun could be subject particle, but it could be as for. As for to me. I don't know about you. As for to me. Jum a little bit iksukan. What is iksukan? This is iksukada verb with n underneath becomes the adjective to describe inki. Inki, we know this is popularity, right? Oh, FCMD, welcome. First time being here. If you first time, let's welcome FCMD. 안녕하세요. 익숙한, be used to or familiar. 인기랄까? 인기, popularity, I'm familiar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 랄까? This is... 라고 할까? It's the same thing as 라고 할까? I'm gonna scroll down because I need some space. 라고 할까? 까. This is 까, okay? 
라고 할까? I'm thinking that this is the full version of like. Sometimes in colloquial speech, we just use that. 라고 할까? But as you know, this is 알까 underneath. I'm gonna use different color. It could be rhetorical question. Okay? 알까? Rhetorical question. 라고 하다. Say that. Right? Say that this. I know this is a little complicated, but say that you can just ignore that part for now. Is it, um, is it that, is it that, um, this is, uh, how am I going to word this? It is the familiar popularity. Uh, is the popularity is familiar to me a bit. Uh, familiar popularity it is to me a bit. Does it make sense? Familiar popularity it is a bit to me. Yeah, you interpret it as I'm used to this popularity, that's right. But grammatically, familiar popularity, it is to me. A bit. So I'm used to this popularity, that's right. 라고 할까? Sometimes we say, is it that? You know, is it that? And this is a rhetorical question. So, um... You know, I'm used to this popularity. Another patting on her back. So this is kind of like a um, difficult grammar to explain for me too. But I guess we get the idea, right? So, the next scene. Ding! Oh, 뭐지? Oh, 뭐지? 오늘 과대가 뭐? 과대가 또 뭐이제? Look at her head. Mm-hmm, I'm used to this popularity. Yeah. Oh, I think I already read this part, right? So let's go back here. Ding. This is the, um, the phone is ringing. Ding. The phone ringing sound. And, oh, 뭐지? Right? Oh, 뭐지? So, oh. 뭐지? What? G. This is confirmation. What is it? Right? What is it? With confirmation. I noticed that in English phrase, when you're confirming something, you often change be verb into past tense. What was that? What was it? You know, even though it is happening in present tense, when you're confirming, you change the tense to present tense to past. What is it versus what was it? Right? Do you get that? So this is like what is it with confirmation. You can interpret as what was it? 오늘 과대가 또 뭐이제? Today 과대. What's 과대? 과대가 subject particle 또 뭐이제? 또 모이다, 제 verb ending. What is 과대? You don't pronounce it as 과대. This is pronounced as 과대. Okay? Even though it's written as 과대, often we use 과대. Because if you read it as 과대, it's like Exaggeration. 과장하다. 과대. Exaggeration. Yeah. But it's actually a shortened form of something else. 과대. Do you know 과 as in 과목? Let's say 과목. 과목 is a subject. Or 과 as in like major in school. 무슨 과예요? What major? 
무슨 전공이죠? So major? 무슨 과예요? What major are you in? Right? So this is like a major that you're taking in school. 대 is from 대표. 대 대표. Representative. So usually in classroom for each major, they have representative for that major. So this is like 과대, the major representative. That person, 또 모이제. Again, 모이다 verb. What's that? 모이다. This is to be gathered. Okay? To be gathered. Okay, I need some space here. So, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. 제 모이다. This is to be gathered as a verb. Yeah, class represent. Yeah, that's good. Class rep, Rachel. I like that. Okay, so 제 is 자고하다. 제 is a shortened form of 자고하다. What's the mean? Verb. 자고하다. So if you have verb root plus 자, what's that? 공부하자. Let's study. 오늘 뭐 먹자. Let's eat something. Okay? This is let's. 자 is sleep. That's right. FCMD. But however, when it's used with another verb root, it's let's. Let's do this verb. So, <laughs> that's okay. You, you're learning, right? It's good that you keep putting out the answer. Even if it's wrong, that's fine. We're all learning here together, okay? So, let's verb. But, 고하다, did said that. So, 과대 said that, let's meet again. Let's be gathered again. 과대 said that, 하다 can be to do or to say. That's what I'm quoting. Today, 과대 said that, let's meet again. Let's gather again. Okay? So, 이거, 이거, I, this, this. In this case, it's not this thing. She's referring to 과대. Okay? This, this. You know, that, that man. 징그러운 놈. 징그럽다 verb. Okay? So, 징그럽다 verb becomes an adjective. 징그러운. Okay? 징그럽다. B ending becomes 운, right? 징그러운. Describing 놈. What's that? 징그러운 놈. 놈 is a guy. It's kind of slang. I, I don't want to say slang. More like colorful speech. It's like weird or yeah, disgusting guy. That's right. 징그럽다. Usually we use this one to describe kind of weird creature. Like when it comes to food. Oh, 징그러. Or animal. Insects. You know. Kind of a, a, a squeamy. What do you call that? Squeamy? Uh, my hair. <laughs> Sorry. 징그러운. Something is kind of moving and like weird stuff. But we can also use it to describe somebody. Disgusting man. 어? 어째? 매주 건수 만들어서 모이는 것 같다? 아, slimy. I like that. Slimy. Yeah, yeah. 어째? I looked up the word in neighbor. It's actually shortened form of 어찌하여. Okay, so look up the word 어찌하여. Okay, 어찌하여. Okay, 어찌하, uh, score me, I see, you got it. 어찌하여, this is like, uh, I had to dig deeper. So you can look up the verb 어찌 어찌하다. You have to repeat those two words, 어찌 어찌하다. If you look that up in neighbor, it's gonna tell you something. 
I'm gonna write it here. 어찌, you write it twice, okay? And then, 하다. 어찌, 어찌, 하다. This means multiple, twice. Look up the verb in neighbor. It says, do somehow or do in some way. Yeah, that's right, Joyce. That was quick. Meaning, doing this action somehow. You know, somehow he's making this happen. Okay? Or doing it in, in some way, right? Or you can think of it as how come. You can think of it as how come, but let's look at the context as a whole. Okay? So, 만들다. Okay, this is a conjunction. 만들다, conjugated verb, 서. This is a conjunction. And then, okay? So, that disgusting guy makes what? Gonsu. What's gonsu? We also pronounce this as WG. Gonsu. Gonsu to mandeda. Okay? Make what? The number of occurrence. Okay? He's creating, he's making number of occurrence. Meju. Meju. What's meju? Ju has meaning of week. Me il. Il is day. A day. Me il. Every day. Meju. Every week. He's creating those occurrence every week somehow. Or you can think, how come he's making it? But it doesn't mean how come as in you really want the answer. It's more like how come as in you're just throwing it in, slipping in into the phrase. That how come. But I want to go with in some way in this case. That creepy man makes, yeah, makes the occurrence every week. What kind of occurrence? Let's meet. Let's meet every week. And then, 모이는 것 같다. 갔다 verb. Noun plus 갔다. This is like, it seems that way, right? It seems like, yeah, he's making reasons. Yeah, he's making reasons to meet up. It seems like, it seems like we're meeting. That's why. Noun, this is a verb adjective. 거. Making it into a noun, right? 거. It seems like we're meeting because of it. 징그러운 놈, creepy man, 어째 매주 건수 만들어서 모이는 것 같다? He's making occurrence every week somehow and then it seems like we're meeting. Okay? That creepy man. And then now we go back here. 강남 돼지집. Do you know what 돼지집 is? <laughs> you see it here. <laughs> so, normally restaurants, we use 집. Okay? You could say 식당. Okay? 돼지 식당. But 집 is more common. Even though 집 has a meaning of house, but we normally describe restaurant as house. Make it more authentic, I guess. More homey feeling. Gangnam, that's the district name. Pork, 돼지, 집. Korean people love pork, by the way. We eat 삼겹살, 돼지, anything with 돼지, you know? <laughs> we eat 돼지 skin. You can find the pork skin on the street as a vendor, street vendor. And, and pork feet, 돼지 족발, you know? A lot of Taeji restaurants served I call because people think that soju goes really well with the greasy food or greasy food goes well with soju. It cuts the grease. You know, that's how they say. Yeah, and here. Yo, Kim Jigyong! Han Gun Dobago! He's all really drunk. He's drinking beer though, right? 댁. 요즘 내 문자도 씹고 말이야. 
변했어 변했어 저 새끼가 아 actually X is sensory 저 새끼가 또 주경이한테 she's all upset but this main girl she's very uh, friendly <웃음> 아, you know 아 선배 너무 취하신 것 같아요 and then he just he was a right across from her, right? Do you do you see? And then, suk, <laughs> he sat right beside her. 괜찮아. 우리 주경이 옆에 있으니까 안 취하지롱. Look at her tears. Oh. oh, why is this happening to me? 물론 예쁜 게 마냥 좋은 것만 있는 건 아니지만. But you know, I tell you, this might happen often because as you know, Korean culture is really embodied with drinking. So when you're drunk, obviously you kind of get fuzzy <laughs> and you kind of loosen up a little bit. So sometimes it happens like that. So this is a uh, very uh, realistic. So here, 적당히 끼고 빠지자. Hi, Peter. Thanks for coming on live. <laughs> so let's go scroll up here. So, oh, actually, do you see this? 적당히 끼고 빠지자. So earlier the friend is saying, oh, he's uh, telling us together again. 적당히 끼고 빠지자. This is an expression. Great expression. 적당히. What's that? 적당히. Adequately. Okay? Adequately, 적당히 is an adverb. Adequately, 끼고. 끼다 verb, 고, conjunction. What's 끼다? Look up the verb in neighbor, 끼다. So, FCMD, normally I just uh, use neighbor dictionary. If you want to have some, um, like a dictionary on the side, you can use that one digitally. If you have a book, that's fine too. Um, so, 끼다 verb is to stick in, that's right. But in this case, it's an expression like I told you, it's like join. Join. 끼다, 반지를 끼다, put on your ring. Okay? 끼다 has like stick in it, you know? 끼다. In this case, context is join. To join a group. <laughs> What's common use to use liquor as an excuse to get clean <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> so, ah, uh, na kike. Ah, uh, let me join. Let me, let me in. I'm in. In English, people will say just in, right? I'm in. Okay, na kike. Or, nakyojo, let me join, let me in, right? This one, let's join, uh, join, we join adequately. And what? Pajija. She's saying, slip out. Pajija. Chokdangi kigo pajija. Let's just adequately join a little bit, stay there, and then slip out. Because they don't want to stay in the gathering too long, right? They think that it is BS. Why do we have to meet every single week, right? So, Gangnam Daejit Jeep, we know. Yo, Kim Joo-kyung. Actually, her name is Kim Joo-kyung, right? It's a, a split into two syllables because he's drunk, right? Kim Joo-kyung. Han jan to bada. Han jan, what's that? Pata verb Hanjan Han is from one Korean number system. This is actually Hana. But when it's used with counting unit, which is Chan in this case, we use Han, one syllable. This is a counting unit for glass. That's right. Hanjan to one glass more, meaning one more glass. Receive, whatever, right? Have another glass, like feeding her, right? 
oh my god that happens a lot you know you have to reject them oh no like turned out do you remember Julian's interview he said if you have a foreigner car that's okay they know you don't drink much but he also said if they know you know how to drink you don't want to back down right because they're gonna kind of like isolate you have one more drink back this is the sound of scolding back you know back <laughs> it doesn't mean he hit her you know but back is just the sound right he's uh, kind of upset about her right scolding back we sometimes say backji 요즘 내 문자도 씻고 말이야 요즘 these days 내 문자도 씻고 말이야 yeah, there is a sound for everything. So webtoon is a great way to learn all different sounds. You're gonna see more. <laughs> Actually, this is just the beginning. 내 문자도 씻고 말이야. 문자가 뭐예요? 도? What's 도? 씹다 verb. We learned that in another live streaming. 씹다. This is an expression. 고 말이야. This one and then Maria, right? Technically, I want to split it, but it could be an expression. Fix the expression. My text also chew. So chew a text message meaning ignoring. You just eat it up. You see the text messages, you just don't reply back. 문자 씹다 is ignore messages. These days, you is omitted. You ignore my messages. Maybe do can be also or even. You even. How, what do you think? I think it could be even. You even ignore my messages. Go Maria. And word is, right? So I had to think about it because it's kind of awkward. You ignore my messages and it's the word. It's kind of weird to say that in English. So you can think of it as you know as well. This is a fixed expression. Let's go with you know. Okay. You know like um, yesterday we talked about itjana, right? This is used as a prefacing, beginning of the sentences. Itana, you know what? You know, right? I got something to say, you know. This one is you know at the end. That's the best explanation I can get. Because if you look up 근데 말이야, look up the word 근데 말이야 in neighbor, it explains as you know as well. So, you ignore, you even ignore my text messages these days, you know. Yeah, what I'm saying is, yeah. What I'm saying is, you ignore even my messages these days. So I explained this one as what I'm saying is before, but in this case, sometimes depending on the context, you can think of it as, you know, it doesn't really mean anything. 변했어. 변했어, 변했어. It's the same thing. But technically proper way to write is 변, head, underneath, right? What is 변하다? 변했어. The author wrote like this because normally in writing, we very casually move SS next to it. Maybe because of that one reason, or she wants to acknowledge that he's drunk. Maybe that's why SS becomes the next syllable. 변했어. You changed. Yeah. You changed. You changed. He's upset. And the friend is saying, 저 새, This is ski, right? This is sensory. 저 새끼가. 또 주경이한테 the friend is backing up, right? 
friend is all upset about the situation. 저, in this case, this is I or that. That be worth. That bastard, right? That bastard one. 가, subject particle. That bastard, 또, again, 주경리한테, 한테, this is to. To 주경리. But 주경리 is the name, but you can use 이한테, after consonant here. Okay? That bastard is doing all this. Uh? Like a talking shit <laughs> to her. At 선배 너무 취하신 것 같아요. And the friend, I mean the main character is saying, 선배, what's 선배? 취하신 것 같아요. Again, noun plus 같다, it seems like. It seems like what? It seems like 선배, you senior. We call people by the titles, right? The hierarchical titles. So senior is the uh, in school, 선배. You seem drunk. 취하다 verb, but she is uh, making it more polite. She, this one, okay? Making the verb more polite. You, it seems like you are very drunk. And then, he he he. Look at that. He he. This is the word of sliding. <laughs> the word of sliding. Sug, you know? Sug. Kentana. That's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. 우리 주경이 옆에 있으니까 안 취하지롱. Okay. 있으니까. 으니까. Conjunction. 안 취하지롱. Delayed. Can you guys see it? Is anyone seeing it delayed? Yeah, okay. Let me know if it's um, kind of acting funny. Okay? So, I exist. I exist where? 옆에. Do you guys remember this position word that I gave you, you know, explanation? You know, the tricks to remember? 옆에. Beside. Both sides. So, y'all. Right? I exist beside you. 우리 주경이. Look at the 우리. Our 주경이. Our 주경이 means actually my 주경이. I exist beside my 주경이. In English, you're gonna say my. In Korean, our. It makes it inclusive, you know. Okay? It is my, even though it says 우리. 안 취하지 롱. This is negation. 취하다. 취하다. I'm drunk, but I'm not drunk. 은니까. Yeah, that's right. Because or now that. Do you guys remember? I'm going to score up. 니까. I mentioned 니까. Now that. Right? You can think of it as because or now that. Now that I... I am or I exist beside my 주경이. I'm not drunk anymore. Long ending, this is kind of making fun. Okay? Like a, when you're playing words and making fun of something, 안 차지롱, we say. And then she, main character, saying, 물론, Tears. 물론 예쁜 게 마냥 좋은 것만 있는 건 아니지만, okay? 물론, what's 물론? 예쁜 게, this is subject, 
but it is the 예쁜 adjective thing, right? Subject particle. K is a couple of subject particle. Of course, being pretty. 마냥. 좋은 것만 있는 건 아니지만. 좋은, 좋은 점. What's 좋은 점? 좋은 describing 점. Okay? This is another subject technically because of 있다. 있다 verb, adjective, this whole thing is describing 건. I know it is kind of complicated. 건. Good point. Only. Right? Man is only. Only the good point. Good aspect. Being pretty has only the good point. You get it? Manyang. Manyang. This is the in, infinitely. Infinitely. Okay? Manyang. Infinitely. Of course, being pretty has only good point infinitely. But 아니지만. Whatever we just said is not. Okay? 아니지만, but, as in, this is like open conversation. This is not. So in English, you can say, it's not that. It's not that. Of course, it's not that. Being pretty has only the good points in infinitely. Oh, I see. Yeah, FCMD, that's right. We get it? Of course, it's not that being pretty has good points only, infinitely. But, and then look at, uh, this is the full part. 어머, 넌 미인이세요. Okay, someone is saying, this is not her. Okay, someone is saying, 어머, 넌 미인이세요. It's the same thing. 아닌데. 좋은 것만 있는 건 아닌데. It's kind of the same thing in this case. Yeah. Both but. But 는데, 은데, I feel like it's used more so for open com conversation. Look at her. I think it's the main character turned it into an evil. I feel like my screen is kind of squeezed. It's weird. Get Jarite. I think it's the main character. She turned it into that. 늘 새로워. It looks like e evil. 늘 새로워. Ah, 이쁜 게 최고야. Okay. 그렇다고 기왕 들은 칭찬이 싫지도 않다. Okay, let's go back. Nicholas Cage. This? What do you mean? She looks like Nicholas Cage? Oh my god. You know, do you guys know Nicholas Cage has a Korean wife? Apparently, he met her when she was uh, working in a sushi restaurant. <laughs> Look it up. Okay. That's why I like Nicolas Cage more after I found out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, some kind of uh, Korean connection. Oma, <laughs> oma, oh my, oh my. 너무 미인이세요. Very? Mean, pretty woman, beaver, seo. So earlier we learned seo could be what? Just polite ending. Or in statement, it is please usually when you make request. But in this case, as you know, it's impression. Exclamation mark, impression. Oh my, wow, you are really beautiful, really beautiful woman. And then she turns into evil, right? 
짜릿해. Nicholas Cage. 짜릿하다. What's that? Look up the verb 짜릿하다. This is. It is thrilling. Wow. Inside her, it's thrilling. And she is saying. 늘 새로워. Always what? 새로워. This is a verb 새롭다. As you know, be irregular conjugation. You're gonna see u and a. Always, it's new. Meaning, it's always feeling new. You know, it's always new. 예쁜 게 최고야. 예쁜 verb adjective, ke, makes it a noun, right? Subject noun, 최고. 최고 object ya beaver. Get it? So being pretty is the best. That's right. 예쁜 게. This is subject now. Being pretty is the best. 그렇다고 기왕 들은 칭찬이 싫지도 않다. <웃음> Thrilling. Joy is thrilling, to be thrilling. 그렇다고, what's 그렇다고? Even so. You can think of it as even so. Okay? But still. But still, even so. 기왕. 기왕 is the word that I couldn't figure out, but I think it may be the best way to explain. 기왕. Unavoidably. Already. Unavoided, unavoidably. Already. 들은? This is an adjective from the verb 듣다. Okay? What is 듣다? Listen to, okay? 들은, adjective, 칭찬이, 칭찬이, e subject particle, 싫지도 않다, 싫다 verb, 지도 않다, this is even, right? 싫다 verb, What's that? 싫다? I'm gonna write it here. It's not the same thing as 싫어하다. I mean, it could be interpreted the same way. But grammatically, 싫다 is to be hated. Because 싫다 cannot have an object. To hate, 싫어하다, needs an object. 싫다, something is hated. That's why we see subject particle, right? Compliment is not hated. So you can interpret it as, I don't hate compliments. Don't even hate compliments. What kind of compliments? That I hear, that I listen to, or that I hear unavoidably. Even so, I don't hate compliments that I hear unavoidably. Okay? So here, check up, check up. Look at her, she's all kind of, you know. 녹초가 되다, you know, messed up a little bit, you know, tired, all drunk. 엄마 나왔어. 우, 지지, 지지. Look at this motion, 지지. Tulsa. You know, look at this. Motion also turns up. A lot of motion sound. Uh, look at this motion. 
스르륵 Another motion word 화장 지워야 하는데 Alright, so we have a lot of motion here So start here 째깍 째깍 This is a sound word 째깍 You see? Clock? Clock moving Do you say tick? Tick tock? Tick tock? Or what's the word that you say in, in English? Uh, yeah, tick tock Tick tock, tick tock So 째깍 째깍 This is the same thing Tiriring I think it's the bell Doorbell Tiriring That's why she's saying 엄마 나왔어 Right? So normally people live with their parents until they are married in general So maybe things are getting more westernized these days but but from what I remember you know when I lived there in South Korea parents stay they want their children to stay with them until they move out for marriage so maybe that's why she's still living with her or she's still a student getting uh, sponsored 엄마 나 왔어 in this case the author used them together. This is a casual way to say, but you need actually space. Na waso. Because if we combine them together, we may think that it's the verb nauda to come out, right? But technically, oda verb is the only verb here. Na waso. I came. I'm here. Uh, she's a high school student? But earlier they said guade. This is college, no? We don't say quade for high school. Yeah, not sure. Ooh, ooh, like she's tired. Ooh, chiji, dragging sound. This is the sound word. Chiji, 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 right? And then you see, this is motion. Tursok. Tursok. This is when you're um, sitting down. I looked it up in neighbor. It says thud. I never seen anyone who says thud. Uh, Jess, do you say thud? T H U D. I never seen this word before. So it says, sitting down with a thud. So this is the motion, you know, when you're just like, like this. Oh, turns up. Oh, in written, I see. Yeah, okay, that's the same thing, thud. Ooh, paladang. So as you can see the motion, paladang. It's uh, when you're laying on the back, but not in a really proper form. It's like paladang. Uh, this is a paladang. You know, usually dogs they want the owners to pet their stomach, right? Paladang. You know, this is a paladang. Paladang duo itta. Usually we use this verb hand in hand. Paladang dupta. Lay down paladang. This is a descriptive word. Okay. Sururuk. Spread eagled. Really? <laughs> is that how you say spread eagled? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's why learning new language helps your native language too. But for me, it's the opposite. As in, I'm learning English. Sururuk. <laughs> 화장 지워하는데. Sururuk is the word that softly something is closing. Sururuk. In this case, look at her eyes. She is sleepy. Sururuk. 화장 지워야 하는데. She's thinking. Oh, 화장 지우다 verb. 야 하다, right? Ya hada nunde, but. 화장이 뭐예요? 
Yeah, remove, erase. 화장. She's got her makeup, right? 화장 지우다. Oh, I have to. This is have to, right? I have to remove my makeup. She's thinking. I don't know how many days, how many nights I had those. <gasps> you know, you want to sleep, but oh, I gotta remove my makeup. Oh, it's the, uh, you know, something that we can relate to if you wear makeup. <gasps> All right. So here, she's in sleep like that. Pantuk. Yeah? Remember this eyes? Pantuk. Ah, ah, 오늘 SNS 업데이트 안 했네. 빨리 해야지. 으, 깜빡 잠들 뻔. Ooh, 올리자마자 좋아요. 700개. 역시 나란 여자. She's in the washroom now. 괜찮단 말이지. The contact lenses, right? Right and left. She had the contact lenses. This is a word as well. Okay? Ah, she won't Okay? She won't Look at her face. 눈, 차, 눈 화장을 지우기 전까지만 This one I think it's typo from the author I think it meant 눈 But just correct me if I'm wrong But I think it's 눈 화장을 지우기 전까지만 안녕 난 주영스 21살이지 I think this is the last part okay? This is the no makeup version, makeup version it happens to a lot of girls, you know, especially with filtering in apps and whatnot. You don't want to get away from those worlds, you know. You look so pretty wearing contact lenses, you know. Anyway, so here, Pantuk. Did you see her eyes earlier? Let's uh, go back here. Pantuk. Yeah, those eyes. It's like, oh, um, in neighbor it says in a flash. You know, it's like a, you, you forgot something and you just remember. Pantuk. Okay? Ah, 오늘 SNS update 안 했네. 오늘 SNS update. What's that? 안 했네. 하다 verb past tense. 네. Exclamation mark, right? Ah, oh, 오늘, today, SNS. Update, it's the word, English word, that's right. This is the same thing as up, update. Update. We also say update, but this is shortened form, update. SNS, this is a social networking service like Facebook, Instagram, you know, all those things. But you know what's funny? Korean is very advanced in technology world, right? But I feel like social media, they have their own social media chat, which is Kakao Talk and things like that. But Instagram and Facebook, it's funny that they adopted much later than Western world. Because Instagram, when it was really popular, now it is still popular, right? I use them both for personal and for case style. But when I told my sister who is living in South Korea a couple years back, I encouraged her, you need to use Instagram. And she's like, Oh, forget about it. Nobody in Korea uses Instagram. You know, it's never gonna be here, right? She said Kakao Talk or Never is the thing in South Korea. But now, people are going crazy about Instagram, YouTube, even YouTube. It was never popular in South Korea. Now it's blowing up. Everybody wants to be on YouTube. 
It's funny how social media world is happening a bit delayed in South Korea because they have their own thing, I guess. SNS update. And henne, I didn't do negation. SNS update. Exclamation mark. That's why she is like, oh my god, before I sleep, I better do my SNS update. Pali heaji. Pali quickly heaji. He. Conjugated verb. Ya. Have to. Ji. It's a confirmation, right? But when you see yaji, when you're talking to yourself, you can't even think, I should. Oh, I better, I should do those updates quickly, right? And then, uh, uh, kampak chamdepon. Kampak. Okay, kampak, what do you call that? Kampak uh, hada, we say to be, to forget. Kampak. So, this one, 잠들, adjective, 번. So, you can use verb, adjective, plus 번하다. Okay? In English, you say almost this verb. Almost. Almost verb in English. Okay? Verb adjective, bon hada, almost verb in English. So, hada is omitted, dot dot. Almost fell asleep. Kampak, this is forgot. Almost forgot and then fell asleep. Kampak hada is to forget, but in this case it's used just kampak. Almost forgot and fell asleep. Ooh, 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 it's like uh, exciting. 올리자마자 좋아요, 700. Do you see? So I don't know if you can see it well. So 좋아요, this is the like button. We say 좋아요, okay? Yesterday we saw that too. 올리자마자, 올리다. 자, 맞아. What's the mean? 좋아요, this is a button, which is good, right? But this is button name, 700. I say 700 개. 700. Okay? 700 개, 700 likes. 올리자마자, as soon as. That's right. 올리다, put up. Yesterday we also learned Ulida is to post. When you're posting Instagrams and things like that, we say Ulida put up. As soon as I post it, like button 700. Get 700 likes. Oh my god, right? Yokshi. She's petting herself. Quite narcissistic, but it's okay. You have to love yourself first. <laughs> 역시, of course, 나란 여자. 나라는 여자. Oh, uh, 야지 is have to. Okay. 야지, have to and confirmation. But like I said, when you're talking to yourself, you can think of it as should. Yeah. I should do it quickly. I should do it quickly. Right? So, 역시, of course, 나란. This is 라는. Oh. 나란 여자. Describing 여자. Am I underlying it in a correct spot? Because in OBS is different from my um, this uh, paint type of uh, software. Am I underlining right below LAN? Okay. So I'm looking at OBS now because it's not linked, synced well right now. So the woman that's called me, 나란 여자, woman named me or woman that's called me or woman like me. 
Wow, I'm so good. 괜찮단 말이지? 괜찮단 말이지. This is 다는. 괜찮다는 말이지. This is confirmation, right? 괜찮다는 말이지. Okay? 괜찮다는 말이지. Wow. This is, again, what I'm saying is, like Rachel said, what I'm saying is, I'm good. Or, I'm good, you know. Okay? <laughs> 괜찮다는 말이지? It's the same thing as 괜찮단 말이지? You get it? So what I'm saying is I'm good or I'm good, you know? Okay, she took a... This is like a water tap falling down. That's the sound. Okay? Whew! like a refreshing sound. 시원해. 시원하다 verb. What's that? 시원하다. Shiwanhada refreshing. Ah, oh, it's refreshing. I remove my makeup. Hey, to be cool also. 시원하다. Oh, 바람이 시원해요. The wind is cool. In this case, it could be interpreted as refreshing. Oh, 눈 화장을 지우기 전까지만 지우기 by having 기 makes the verb into a noun, right? 전까지만 okay? 전까지 okay? So 전 has a meaning of before before 까지 until, man, only. Okay? So which means that this is a timeline. This is a timeline. This is uh, uh, no makeup. And then makeup. Okay, no makeup, but in this case, 화장, no makeup, um, how am I going to say, 눈, 눈 화장, I want to do eye makeup, yeah, so, this is a timeline, so, before I remove my makeup, right, eye makeup, so, 전, this is before, 까지, until that point, only until that point. Which point? Before I remove my makeup. So, I think it's an uh, author's uh, typo. What do you think? 을 is object. Like I said, this might have been 눈 instead of 는. Maybe should we let the Jugyeong also know? Oh, I think you have a typo there. <laughs> or am I uh, misunderstanding something? I feel like it's no makeup. What do you guys think? So, before up to the point, before I remove my makeup. Annyeong, hi. I am Jugyeong Su. I Jugyeong Su. I think this is like Jugyeong Si. I'm Mrs. Jugyeong. Su is the same thing as Si. That's what I'm getting. It. I wasn't sure what it meant actually. So I asked my mom, what is Su? Is it same as Si? And she said, I think it sounds like a new word for young generation. And I said, okay, I don't belong in wrong young generation anymore. <laughs> That's why I don't know what this means. Su is like the same thing as she, I think. I'm Mrs. Jugyeong. Sumul Han Sal. We use Korean word for counting unit, right? Sal is age counting unit. Iji. Ida Beaver. Ji. You know. I am 21 years old, you know. 
Okay, so this is the at the end of the episode one. If you like this type of content, I can do more. Maybe episode two. I think. What is the current episode, by the way? I mean, we just did last week hundred episode hundred, right? Oh, I see, Natalie. You can use that phrase. Sumu sariji, sumu han sariji. What Konglish? 그래요? Si? Oh, one on one. <laughs> one on one. Korean one on one. Um, I see. So if we continue to do do this, we have a lot to go through. But as you guys know, Webtoon is a really great way to learn Korean because it is uh, one of the most natural way to speak. So we can continue if you like to do more. Hi Francis! Wow, first time here. Thanks for joining the live at the end. <laughs> we can say it, Francis. If you want to join the um, Discord chat, you can just join because people who are like-minded want to uh, share resources and learning tips and things like that. So if you want to join the Discord chat, please do so. And Alright. Okay. Oh, I see. So, yeah, maybe. Tomorrow you're gonna see episode 2. Who knows? So just let me know if you want to see more different types of content. Then leave it in the comment down below. If you want to request anything or any questions, leave them comment down below. If you like this video, always smash the like button and share this video with your friends and families. That's gonna help the channel and grow the community together. And I see you at 4 p.m. Eastern Time because it's the week um, coming up. Today is the weekend. Weekend at 12 p.m. Uh, during the week is 4 p.m. Eastern Time. So I see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. 안녕.